you ever see a kid fall down and get a little scrape on their knee and right away they kind of look at you right because they want to see what kind of reaction you have and if you go oh my god that looks horrible let me put a band-aid that's bleeding so much ah what does the kid do Wah! he starts crying and screaming that was horrible horrible acting right there but i remember being in those situations right and my mom or somebody would freak out and then i think it's so horrible it's so much worse that i freak out too even though the pain might not have been that bad right so what am i talking about this for same thing with ourselves if we focus on something that's wrong and say oh my god how am I gonna fix this it's so awful oh my god everything's awful then what do we get start thinking in our mind ah panic mode right so don't do that right don't focus on the things you don't want the things that hurt or bother you focus on what you do have what you want and how good it feels to move right focus on the right things focus on your gratitude on things you could be grateful for because no matter how crappy life gets there's always something to be grateful for. Maybe it's just the fact that you're still breathing, but you can find things if you're looking for it. So focus on the right things and work out with me right now. Okay, let's take it to a side step, just like this, and we'll add an arm across, across. Good. And you have to believe in your goals. You have to believe that you're doing it for a reason. You have to envision the health you want and know that you can achieve it, that before things are in your way, but things can be different this time. This time you're gonna stick with it. You're gonna stay the course. You're gonna take care of yourself. You're not playing around. And our past does not equal our future, or else we live there. Good, you can do this. Good, how about four, three, two, and one. Good, let's take a big inhale. Exhale it out. Excellent, let's grab a little dumbbell for some rows. All right, so here you go as heavy as you want or as light, depending on your strength but this works those great postural muscles. Put the opposite foot forward that you're gonna use and actually work your non-dominant arm first so you know it's a good weight. Opposite foot forward, hinge forward from the waistline, chest stays out, back is flat and straight rather, and your neck is long. Reach and row, good, nice. Using those good postural muscles, you're doing great. Don't curl your wrist, keep it there, good. Doing great. Nice. Six more. Here's six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Same side here. You're going to keep using that arm. You're going to come forward, reach it down, come up, and press it up. Good. Forward, reach, and press. There you go. Good. Not easy. Woo. There you go. Good, four more like that. Here's four, and press. Three, and press. Using a lot of body parts here. Two, and press. One more, down, and, and press. Beautiful, good job, switch arms. Now it's your strong arm gonna be doing the work. And the opposite foot forward, right? Chest is out, shoulders back and down. Hinge forward from that waistline, reach, and row. Don't curl the wrist. Keep that back flat by keeping your chest out. Keep your neck long. Keep going. Doing great. Good. It's a good one. Very important. Five more. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we'll do that full body incorporation here with the lawnmower. Reach down, bring it in, press it up. Good. Reach, row, and press. There you go. Reach, row, and press. There you go. You got it. You're doing great. Four more like that. Here's four, and press. Three, and press. You got it. Two, stay with me. Press. Last one. Press. You're doing great. Now, if things get hard, like I said, you can always go to marching in place, but keep moving with me. Excellent. Let's go to a little lower body here and work a squat. Now, if you have a chair, you can use it as a, as a uh, guide, but we're going to just do it without it right now. So have your feet about hip width apart and sit back like you're sitting in that chair. Come up and squeeze those legs. Good. Using a lot of muscles in the lower body right here with these hot potato chair squats they would be if you had a chair by me. <laughs> but I don't have one. We don't need it. 
There we go. Good. Reach it down there. Press it up. You got it. You're doing great. Five more like that. There's five, four, three, two, and one. There you go. Step it out. Doesn't that feel good?